Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can combine layer blending effects amongst images and within images using the apply image and calculation commands located under image in the menu bar. The apply image command allows you to blend one image's layer and channel or the source into the layer and channel of another image, the destination. To do this though, the images used in the calculations must have the same pixel dimensions. To use the apply image command, open the necessary images and select the layer and channel that you want to use as the destination. We have two images here. We have our concert crowd image that we're looking at here. And then we have an image of a rock guitarist. Now remember, these have to be the exact same pixel dimensions in order for this to work. In this case, they are. So we'll select the concert crowd. That's going to be our destination image. And then you go to image and then apply image from the menu bar. And that will open the apply image dialog box that we see here. Now in the dialog box, you select the source image. And the source image then is going to be our rock guitarist. And then you select a layer. In this case, there's only one layer, our background layer, but if you have multiple layers and you want to use them all, you can use Merged for the layer choice. If you click the Invert checkbox here, you will instead use the negative values of the channel contents that you pick right here. So you can choose any of the individual channels or the composite channel, which is what we'll use. Then for the blending area down here, you're going to select a blending mode. Give that a click. And so we'll go up and choose, for example, darker color. And you can play around with that and find one that you really like to give you the effect that you're looking for. Now you'll also have two modes that are available only here and in the calculations command, add and subtract. The add choice adds pixels in two channels, and this is a great way to combine non-overlapping images in two channels into one. The subtract mode subtracts pixels in the source from pixels in the destination. But after selecting a blending mode, you use the opacity text box to set the strength of the effect. And again, you can play around with that until you find what you really like. You can also check the Preserve Transparency checkbox to preserve any transparent pixels in the destination layer. If you want to specify a mask for the effect, you can click the Mask checkbox right here, which extends the dialog box. And in the new area that appears, you select the image and layer that contains the mask that you'd like to use in this case. Selecting Invert here will reverse the mask and we're not going to use a mask right now. Also, you want to make sure that you have the preview checkbox marked so that you can actually see over here the changes that are taking effect as you make your choices. Once you have completed that and you like what you see, then you can click OK there. Now you can also use the calculations command to blend two individual channels in one or more images. And you can then set the results in a new image or a new channel or selection in the active image. And now keep in mind that you cannot calculate composite channels. So to use the calculations command, we're going to first undo what we've just done. And we're going to have our two images open and then we're going to select image and then calculations from the menu bar instead. And then we're going to select from the source one, drop down here, the image that you want to use as the first source. And we'll choose our rock guitarist. Now below that, select the layer that you wish to use and then the channel. Now again, we have our single background layer and then whichever channel that we want to use. We have green and red and so forth. 
and then you repeat the steps for the source 2 section here. And we'll keep those the same as red. Below that you select a blending mode from the blending drop-down and the strength of the effect in the opacity text box. Now if you want to constrain the effect to a mask of sort, of course you can click that again as we saw before. But once you're done you can go ahead and click OK. Now after you've done all of this, what you'll have done again using the calculations command is to blend two individual channels in one or more images. So it's just a different way of blending both channels and layers here. Click Cancel. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.